Let's dive into the latest artificial intelligence developments of the last couple of weeks. There's a plethora of exciting use cases to explore, from upgraded apps to entirely new innovations. For starters, there's the Magnific 16X Upscaler, a game changer I hadn't even considered possible. Google Maps has received some much needed enhancements. But here's the real surprise. Imagine converting an audio file into a stunningly realistic 3D scene, complete with characters mimicking the voice. It's a level of innovation I hadn't even imagined until now. Let's dive right in with Fixkey.ui, a novel solution that addresses a common pain point, autocorrection. As someone who frequently struggles with typing errors, I often find myself frustrated by the limitations of standard autocorrect features, especially when juggling multiple languages. Fixkeyed AI aims to revolutionize this experience using AI technology. With support for multiple languages and a promise of improved accuracy, it's an enticing prospect. The initial demo offers 15 free fixes, making it easy to give it a try. While I personally encounter fewer typing errors on my laptop, the potential benefits on mobile devices are undeniable. Let's test it out. Impressive. It corrected the mistake seamlessly. However, it's not infallible. Minor errors can still trip it up. Overall, it's a promising tool, particularly for mobile use. As technology evolves, I anticipate similar features becoming standard. But for now, FixKey ADI fills a crucial gap. Honestly, I'm eager to explore its capabilities further, especially because of my need for a solution like this. Now, let's explore the latest update from Magnific IUI, which introduces an impressive 16x upscale feature. This enhancement opens up new possibilities for enhancing image resolution. Take, for instance, some old Pokemon pictures. With just a few clicks, the difference is striking. The resolution is significantly higher, allowing for crisp zooming without sacrificing quality. Now onto a real test, upscaling an old Lara Croft image. Despite some limitations on resolution, the tool delivers a notable improvement, providing a 40 megapixel image from a decades old source. However, results can vary, especially with higher upscale factors. While some outcomes are impressive, others are less consistent. It seems that sticking to lower upscale factors like 2x or 4x yields more reliable results. Nonetheless, with careful use, Magnific Date AI can produce some genuinely impressive enhancements, offering a glimpse into the potential of AI-driven image upscaling technology. Let's talk about a free alternative to Magnific ADI for image upscaling. Upscale with a Y. Unlike Magnific, this open source tool operates locally, eliminating the need for an internet connection. After downloading the software, I tested it on the same Lara Croft image. The initial result showed increased sharpness and megapixels, but lacked the transformative AI enhancement characteristic of Magnific. However, upon running it again and adjusting the mode to digital art, the outcome improved noticeably. It's worth noting that upscale with a Y offers fewer presets compared to Magnific, but it's still a viable option for high-resolution image upscaling. While it may not deliver the same magic as its paid counterpart, it's a valuable tool for those seeking a free solution. Feel free to give it a try and experiment with its capabilities. Let's delve into DreamTalk, Alibaba's latest venture into face animation technology. Alibaba has been actively exploring various AI applications, and DreamTalk stands out as one of their most ambitious projects yet. While the promotional material showcases impressive results, real-world performance may not live up to the hype. Even with preset images like Angelina Jolie and pre-selected audio inputs, the output falls short of expectations. While it may offer some improvement over previous iterations, it still lacks the usability needed for practical applications. While DreamTalk shows promise, it's clear that further refinement is necessary to make it truly viable. With that said, let's shift our focus to the next innovation in line. Let's shift gears and explore Jan Aoi a user-friendly alternative to Alama and LM Studio. Unlike its counterparts, 
Jan II boasts simplicity without the need for terminal commands. It just works. Essentially, Jan II combines the power of GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 via API with local language models like Llama or Mixtral into one convenient application. With just a quick download, users can access a wide range of language models and start utilizing them within minutes. The platform's hub offers a variety of models, including the latest releases like Mixtral 8x7 B model. However, it's essential to note that some models have hefty hardware requirements, such as a minimum of 100 gigabytes of GPU RAM. For most users, opting for models like TinyV or utilizing GPT-4 through the API interface provides a more accessible option. Jan Dawai opens up possibilities for experimenting with different language models and chatbots, all within a single interface. And best of all, it's completely free as long as you're using local models. Stay tuned for a more in-depth discussion on model requirements in an upcoming video. For now, let's take a moment to explore an intriguing meta-research project called Audio2 Photoreal. While we won't be diving into its installation process today, I want to introduce you to this groundbreaking concept. Essentially, Audio2 Photoreal converts an audio waveform into a photorealistic 3D scene. By uploading an audio file to the software installed on your local machine, it generates a scene featuring a lifelike human figure speaking and presenting the audio content. It's a mind-bending concept that pushes the boundaries of what's possible with AI. Though we won't delve into a demonstration here, just envision the potential of creating dynamic, audio-driven visuals from simple sound files. It's an innovation worth keeping an eye on as it continues to evolve. If you want me to make a full video on this, just leave a comment down below. With that said, let's move forward to our next topic. Let's delve into the recent AI enhancements in Google Maps, a navigation app familiar to most of us. Personally, I've found Google Maps to be my go-to choice for navigation, thanks to its reliability over the years. While there are numerous new features in the latest update, I want to highlight two AI-driven additions that stand out to me. First up is Google Lens in Maps, a feature that leverages AI to provide enhanced insights into your surroundings. Simply use the app's camera function, and as you point it at objects, relevant pop-ups will appear, offering valuable information. This is particularly useful while traveling, providing instant context about landmarks, businesses, and more. The second noteworthy AI feature allows users to search for specific words unrelated to city names. Using image recognition technology, Google Maps can identify shops or businesses based on specific criteria. For example, searching for animal latte art will yield cafes known for this unique offering based on user reviews and images. This demonstrates the power of AI in streamlining searches and discovering niche offerings. While the example might seem trivial, it showcases the potential of AI-driven search capabilities. I'm excited to explore these features further and see how they enhance the navigation experience. Let's not wrap up just yet, because there's another significant development that happened not that long ago, the official release of Mid-Journey V6. Now available to all paying subscribers in its full version, Midjourney brings forth a multitude of practical applications. While much of the AI art scene leans towards the fun and artistic, there's one particular use case that stands out for its sheer practicality. Imagine generating images featuring devices with a green screen, a seemingly mundane concept, yet incredibly powerful in marketing applications. With this capability, replacing backgrounds becomes effortless. Whether for billboards, computer screens, or mock-ups of interior spaces for photography, the possibilities are vast and highly versatile. I will be wrapping this up with Perplexity, which introduces a significant enhancement, image uploading features. For those unfamiliar, Perplexity serves as an alternative to ChatGPT, specializing in research-oriented use cases. Its strength lies in its ability to comprehensively crawl the web, providing references and insights across a wide range of topics. 
As someone who advocates for integrating vision features into large language models, I see this update as particularly impactful. For many, crafting context-rich prompts can be daunting, requiring practice and patience. With the addition of image uploading capabilities, perplexity becomes even more versatile and user-friendly. Now, researchers can supplement their queries with visual data, unlocking new dimensions of understanding and exploration. Whether you're delving into new topics or conducting in-depth research, perplexity is certainly worth a try. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and go ahead and check out this video on the screen. You will love that one. I'll be waiting there.